Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to automatically generate an update record form, using Bootstrap 3 Dynamic Form Generator 2. We have a dynamic table, listing our database records. We want to be able to edit, the selected record details. You already know how to create a repeat region, showing your database records, from our previous tutorials, so we won't show how to do this now. Open the Server Connect panel, and create a new server action. We call it, Get Details, as we will use it, to get the details of the selected record. Expand Globals, and add Get Variable. We will use this variable, to filter the query by ID, so we just call it, ID. Now, add a database connection, and a query. Right click the database connection step, and add query. Set up the query options. Select the same database table, which you are using, to list the records on your page. And add its columns to the query list. Open the filters tab, and add the filter column, to the filters list. Use the get variable which we created earlier, as its value. Click the dynamic data picker, to select the id get variable. Click the ok button, when you are done, and then save your server action. Now, we need to create the server action, which will be used, to generate the update record form. We call it, update. Add a database connection. And then add an update record step. Open the update record options, and add the table, which you want to update. In the filters tab, add the ID column as a filter. Click the OK button, when you are done. And save your server action. Switch to App Connect and add a variable. We will use this variable to filter the Get Details action, which we already created. Then, we will use the Get Details action results to populate the update record form fields. We call this variable Client ID. Now, we will assign the Click Record ID as a variable value. We select the table row or whatever element we are repeating. And under Dynamic Events, we select on click. And open the Dynamic Action Picker. Under the Client ID variable, we select Set Value. And then, we click the Dynamic Data Picker. We need to assign the selected record ID, so we select the ID binding, from the repeat region. Now, we are done setting the selected record ID, into a variable. Let's add the Get Details Server action, to this page. Click the Add New Component button. Add Server Connect, and add a name to it. Then, select a server action. Here we select the Get Details Server action. And then, we assign the variable value to its get parameter, which we use to filter the query. Now, when a record is clicked, and the variable value changes, the details query will be filtered, and the update record form fields, will be populated accordingly. Click on your page, where you'd like to insert, the update record form. And click the add new component button. Under bootstrap 3 menu, select form generator. Select the update server action, which we created. And then, select the get details server connect component, as a source, which will populate the form fields. Select the query, which is located inside the get details server connect component. Then, click the id field, and change its type to hidden, as it will only be used as a filter, for the update action. 
Click OK to insert the form on the page. In order to see the changes, immediately in the repeat region, we need to reload it on update. So select the update record form and click the dynamic events button. Select the success event in the server connect menu. Open the action picker dialog and select load under the server action which lists the records on your page. And we are done. Let's preview the results. We click a record in our table and you can see that the form fields show its details. You can see the changes immediately in the table as soon as we click the submit button. That's how easy it is to auto-generate an update record form using Bootstrap 3 Dynamic Form Generator 2.